What's up everyone, welcome to Ben's Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be at a second of the 2024 Toyota RAV4. Let's get right into it with both the charts, gas and hybrid. We're gonna start off looking at the gas trim chart here, ranging from the LE all the way up to the TRD off-road in price, ranging about $10,000 across these six trims. So that's great to see. I love seeing that this starts sub 30 and ends sub 40 for an SUV. Uh, especially with what this is offering. I think that's great. So hopefully there's a RAV4 in this gas lineup that works for you. It'll be one engine and one engine only, 2.5 liter four cylinder, giving you 203 horsepower, 184 pound feet of torque. Not too bad at all. Would be nice to have a little more power, but that's not that bad. Paired with an eight speed auto, those first three trims will come standard with front wheel drive, but you can get all wheel. And the last three will be standard with all wheel. MVGs range on nearly every trim here, depending on what uh, what you got standard tires also play a role here switching over to the hybrid trims um, we have an additional trim here a little different on the rest as well still le at the bottom 31,725 all the way up to the limited at just over forty thousand dollars we're adding in the woodland edition um, and some different variants here the hybrid engine will be again a 2.5 liter four cylinder but it will be a hybrid 219 horsepower 163 pound feet of torque so a little more power here, but really not much. That'll be paired with an eCVT. All-wheel drive across the board, which is fantastic to see. And definitely higher MPGs across the board as well. Definitely more closely related to each other. But again, tires would make a difference, uh, as well as overall weight and size. Real quick, guys, here at Ben's Car Reviews, I strive to bring most accurate, relevant information in under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no wasted time. And that's something that's intriguing to you. And like this content as you watch, please like and subscribe so you can continue to grow the channel. Let's keep going. Toyota has really nailed the design on this generation of RAV4. It has quite an aggressive look on the front end with the body lines and the angles. They're selling these things left, right, up, and down, and I can really understand why. They look really nice, and once you dive in further, you see all that it offers. And Toyota supplied a lot of pictures to examine while I talk main features, so let's dive in. Toyota says a TRD tuned suspension with enhanced rebound control and red coil springs with revised spring rates means better ride quality while the skid plates below help protect the underside when tackling gravel-covered roads. Combine that with dynamic torque vectoring all-wheel drive, then multi-terrain select, and you're going to get a lot of performance out of your TRD off-road trim. The multi-terrain select, or the all-wheel drive, comes with five drive modes. Mud and sand is one, rock and dirt, normal, and snow. I guess that's four drive modes, excuse me. Sport, Eco, and Normal will be found otherwise on the non-all-wheel drive systems. There are standard roof rails on the Woodland Edition for carrying all your gear. Plethora of colors to choose from, including two-tone schemes, which I love seeing from Toyota. They are doing this on so many models in their lineup now. Definitely a unique touch. It looks super sharp. LED lights all around for your headlights, taillights, and daytime running lights. LED fog lights are also available. Toyota really nailed these headlight designs. I think they look super sharp. The TRD off-road will outfit you with those fog lamps and also include dark gray front and rear lower valance, numerous black painted accents, rugged over fenders, and matte black 18-inch TRD alloy wheels wrapped in aggressive Falcon Wild Peak AT trail tires. One of the biggest design separators for these trims is the wheels in size, design, and color schemes. Aside from the TRD off-road I just mentioned, the LE and the XLE land you 17-inch alloy wheels with a minimalist design. XLE Premium and Adventure step it up to 19-inch and have their own elevated designs. The XLE Premium in particular, I think, looks great, and it appears that shares the same wheel with the Limited. The Woodland has 18-inch bronze-finished wheels wrapped in Falcon tires like the TRD off-road. Finally, the hybrid SE, XSE, and Limited have 18-inch sizes. There's dual chrome tip exhaust, roof spoilers, the grill color varies, and overall has a well-done look in any scenario, whether it's more chrome or black. Lots of packages and options available to outfit your RAV4. This thing measures in at 180.9 inches long, 67 inches tall. Overall weight and towing capacities vary significantly depending on the trim and the powertrain. Having trouble picking a best bang for your buck in these, I'm trying to separate gas and hybrid models into separate answers, but there's just so many different options here. There's 13, including everything. I'm not seeing price points being enough of an outrageous difference in each other that any particular top trim seems too out of reach. 
All are offering different exterior looks for the most part, and yeah, definitely some performance capabilities. I think this design is really down to a personal basis. I think the Woodland Edition and the Limited trims have the best looking exteriors. As far as the insides go, which we'll see next, there are more significant bells and whistle differences, and that may drive a decision if you want a fully loaded RAV4, uh, more than how much you care about the exterior looks. Much like the exterior, I'm digging the looks on this interior. I think Toyota has done a fantastic job with their interior designs as of late, from the dash to the seat specifically in this one looks very nice. There are small details involved all over that really complete the look and always seem to make you know, their models feel more expensive than they actually are. Lots to know about this five seater and I'll hit the important points. There's an eight inch infotainment screen on the bottom trims and the TRD off-road and limited for the gas models. We'll start that larger 10 and a half inch screen, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto capability. Just like the touchscreen, lower trims have a 7 inch driver's information gauge area and the top ones have a 12.3 inch info area. Both look sharp though. There's a panoramic glass roof available for an elevated look. Seating materials will range from fabric or soft text material. Heated front seats, heated and ventilated front seats, and heated rear seats are all available too, depending on your trim. Multiple different capabilities of seat adjustments and lumbar depending on the trim. Wireless charging is available, and you can option it in on some trims too where it's not standard. There's an 11 speaker JBL audio system to be had on the top trims or available with options. Woodland Edition gets you tree imprints on the floor mats, which is simply just a really cool touch and looks pretty nice. The interior ambient LED lighting that's available gives the overall feel of this more fun and classy at the same time. I like the blue a lot. Available rear seat climate control depending. The rear end has available power liftgate and available hands-free power liftgate. Unfortunately, that not only hands-free isn't standard, but power isn't even standard on all the trims. I think we need to be beyond that in 2024. There's a standard 12 volt outlet in the back. The TRD off-road increases it to 120 volt. Numerous handy driver's assist, safety and technology features standard with Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 and more available. Overall, there's a lot to like here. I think Toyota set these trims up well and about as fairly to the trims as they can. Unfortunately, as always with many trim levels, the bottom ones often get snubbed, but I don't think Toyota did that too badly here. Interview guys, if you're in the market for an SUV such as this RAV4, you're looking at a segment that's arguably the most competitive in all of vehicles right now. It's got to be the SUVs, uh, specifically this one. Uh, this is going to be going up against the likes of the Honda CRV. Hyundai Tucson, Nissan Rogue, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I'm sure you know all the options. So definitely a lot to look at if you're comparing this to other things. If Toyota is what you're all in on, you really like this RAV4 and you're just trying to pick which trim you want, uh, really any one is going to get you a great setup. It's nice that there's only one powertrain option. Uh, I guess it's more nice if there's two, but having only one means less of a decision to have to make. You know, you don't have to choose between power um, at a top trim that you want but maybe can't afford as well. Um, so having the same engine throughout definitely makes things a little easier. Uh, MPGs are also great on all the trims and they're all really not that bad. Sub 40,000 really for all 13 of these trims, the $40,000 trim is just over $40,000. Um, so definitely many options here if that's what's fitting your budget and what you want in a vehicle. You go with this Toyota, you're gonna make an, a great decision hopefully for a long time, uh, super reputable as always. Hopefully this video laid things out and clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this Benz car review. Please subscribe if not already. If you have an idea for a future review, drop in the comments. I'll see what I can do. If you'd like to come remember the channel, I have that option now. Check that out and join if you'd like. And I'll catch you on the next Benz car review.